Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashalo, Koholo, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hachadash. That were honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zach Na is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And mainly, you know, just, you know, warning, because we have to warn the flock, man. Hey, you know, watch yourself when you're going out to eat <laughs> or you just want to go out to a restaurant. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. First off, you are the Hebrew Israelites and you're the most hated group of people on the planet. You do have to realize that. You have to use wisdom, man. I mean, and this story that I'm about to get into, and I say it all the time because I'm not the go out and eat type of person. I'm not the... When it's pulling up at a drive through I'm not going to sit down in a restaurant. Uh, I prefer to just, you know, <laughs> go to the supermarket and pick out the best that I can. Because we are in the, um, the land of, you know, these damn heathens eating um, the foul bread, you know, roughly paraphrasing the scriptures. Because we don't we don't get the best of fruits, vegetables, meats and butters and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because we're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and we have enemies. And the heathen nations, they, they hate you. You can, you can not believe it if you don't want to, but the scripture says that they do. And that's what we're going to go into. So let's get a little bit of this story. And yeah, first off, too, the, the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. There's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E, no letter O, no letter V, no letter U. Those letters are not in the Hebrew alphabet, so they was not calling our Lord Jesus, and it was not calling the Father Jehovah. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You see, you repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. And, and don't think that these elite, these so-called white people, they don't know it, because they're the Edomites. That's their biblical name. See? Black is not a nationality. Hispanic is not a nationality. Those are, you know, just names that the, the enemy gave you. You're colonizer. You know, wherever you were colonized at, Haitians, Jamaicans, Honduran, you got those names from the so-called white people. But they know, or not your regular so-called white people, they have no idea what the hell is going on. But the elite, the ones that run this world and that constantly keep you under, they know that you are the Hebrew Israelites and that the Lord is eventually coming for you. You see, but let's get some of this, this story. Um, well, let me come out of here real quick because this is just sickening. This is why I say, um, you know, don't just don't do it, man. You know, it's no need to go out and, and, and try and sit in someone's restaurant. And especially these so-called these so-called white people, man, they, they have a real super duper hatred for us. So why would you go to a restaurant and they mixing up your food? You can't see it. You see? Why would you go and allow them to make you a drink? Nah, man, just do all that shit at the house, man. You can you can do all that at home. There's nothing at Red Robin. Now, this is the story from Red Robin. This is Red Robin, Robin staff hid semen in a customer salad, making him vomit after he accused them of discrimination lawsuit says. Now, you know what? Let me go up. Cause let me let me let me just check into this. Cause sometimes you see these stories and. They just be, you know, little, little clickbait stories, man. Because you should have some, some, whatever. Let's see, by customer. That is disgusting if that's the case, man. Well, it's up here. It's up here. I see it up here a couple times. Well, I guess no images on it. Let me see. No, no news stories. You think somebody would have said something about it in the news? But anyway, it's up here. Let's see what this is. Um, MSN.com. Okay, it says uh. 
a Red Robin restaurant in Clackamas, <laughs> served a disgusting salad dressing to a man who expressed his ear that employees racially discriminated against his family, a new lawsuit claims. The Portland resident, identified in court papers by his by only his initials TC, consumed a, de a decent amount of the garden salad before realizing human semen had been concealed inside the leafy greens. That is disgusting. The civil suit seeks $1 million in damages from Red Robin for sexual abuse, negligence, and racial discrimination against a man who was black, according to the law lawsuit filed Monday in the circuit court. And first off, we're not black, but we're different shades of brown. There's no such thing as black people. There's no such thing as white people. They're actually red. And that's that's kind of ironic, too, that the, this restaurant is red robin because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. But this is disgusting. And he should want more than a million dollars. The hell is a million dollars after that, man? You know what kind of disease? You know, I'm not hearing about nobody going to jail, you know. But that's why I say, hey, be careful. You got to be careful out here, man. He says he believes this was done on purpose. If it's jack off in your salad, of course it was done on purpose. How do you know how to see me get in food, man? That's disgusting as hell, man. It says that someone targeted him because of the color of his skin. He's been really traumatized from this. The, Clack the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office spokesperson confirmed the alleged incident was reported to authorities and is under investigation. Court papers say the man visited the Red Robin. Hey, this is the address too, so you don't ever. So if you're living in that area, don't go. Twelve five sixty Southeast Ninety Third Avenue for a family dinner, March twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. When service asked to seat separately, me, separately members of his eight person group, which was mostly made of black people and included several children, the man noticed other large groups of white patrons being seated together and brought these concerns to to the attention of the management. Restaurant manager Jason Fosberg then referred to the group as a big gang, according to the lawsuit, which does not accuse Fosberg of tainting the salad. Fosberg deferred comment to Red Robin corporate officials who didn't respond to email questions. After discovering the, the befouled salad, TC snapped several photos of the substance in a napkin, according to Kafori. He started vomiting adding that hospital staff diagnosed his client with anxiety and nauseous later that night. It was horrific. Laboratory testing later confirmed the substance was human genetic material. That's disgusting. When sheriff's investigators asked Red Robin for a list of men working in the restaurant that night, management initially said they didn't have access to those records due to a computer hack, but later provided information. See, 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 this is what I be talking about. Now let's go to let's get some scripture real quick. First off, let's go to straight to let's get straight to the point. Ezekiel 35 and 5 and 5. Because these people have a perpetual hatred for you. They can't help it because this is a spiritual war between Esau, their forefather, and Jacob, our forefather. And they're gonna continually hate you. See, they're in rulership right now. They're ruling right now. This is their, their kingdom. You see what I'm saying? This is their kingdom. They're the ones that write the laws. They're the ones that, you know, write the curriculum for our children to go and learn what they want us, our children to learn. They're the ones with the military. They're the ones with, you know, the, the everything that we need. The scripture says that we will go to them for one of all needs, um, a, a one of all things, Lockyer. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the, the blood of the children of Israel. By the force of the swore in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, and you know the Lord, the Lord can't lie. So this goes out to you so-called white people and what you're gonna get, man, in, in your future um in the kingdom. Because the, the the law, statutes, and commandments is only given to the Israelites. Salvation, redemption, the covenants, the promises, all that stuff is for the Israelites, us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You you heathen. You're considered to be heathen. You're going into slavery and you're going to pay for everything that you've ever done to us as a people, your whole race. And it, and it goes for you so-called Chinese people, too. You so-called Japanese people, too. You know, all you heathen races that are in our neighborhoods, you take advantage, advantage of us. You give us the, the worst of foods. 
you know, you give us the worst of quality and, 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 and mechanic work and whatever, whatever you deal with, you give us the worst of it. And you're going to pay for it. It's that simple. It says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So all that hatred, hey, live it up, man. Keep, keep, keep it going. Keep that same energy when the Lord comes back and, 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 and we're in control. You see, that's why I tell, hey, I tell, I say it all the time and I'm not to go out and eat type of person. And especially when it comes to Edomites, because let's get this. Let's go into the script. Hey, you, that's why the scripture says, who will pity a charmer? You being told not to deal with these people, but yet and still, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all really think that you're Americans. You are in the hands of human traffickers, man. That's that's them pull the pull the, the 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 wool over your eyes. Got you thinking that you actually are a part of what they put together. They stole this place. <laughs> and they stole you. And still have you in their hands to this very day. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy. See that? It says never trust thine enemy. It don't say, hey, well, here and there, you know, or, you know, maybe you can trust them here, you know. Nah, <laughs> never trust thine enemy for like it's iron rusted, so is his wickedness. The same way iron going to rust, because iron is going to rust. Eventually, iron is going to rust, man. So is his wickedness. It's going to come through. They'll, hey, how you doing? You know, they'll do all that with you. You see what I'm saying? But if you at work with them, hey, man, go do your job and bring your ass back to your neighborhood. Don't go out to no bars with them. Don't for damn sure go no camping or nothing with them. Don't go out on no damn hunting trips with them. You don't go out on the lake with them talking about fishing because your ass may not make it home, man. You are dealing with vicious people, man. You know what kind of mindset you have to have to... And you know that you know that that's how Esau get down too. They, they like a damn movie. They was probably giggling and shit. Probably three, four so-called white men standing around while he was jacking off to even even come up with the substance. You at the job doing this, and you know how they get down. They they just some nasty little slimy buggers, man. You got <laughs> you got to really watch. Like, nah, I don't know. You don't, you ain't making me no coffee, no damn soft drink, no shake. I don't need you to make no fuck a hamburger. See, you go out in these large groups, and he probably was out in a large group with women because you had children. Why didn't the women just go, hey, we're going to whip something up at the house. We know what we're getting into. We know the ingredients. We're going to make it fresh. We're going to, you know what I'm saying, a damn salad. Get the hell out of here, man. I can understand, you know, you want to go out and have a good time, you know, but hey, man, in this day and time, in this climate that we're in, because it's definitely super duper division in this country. These so-called white people are losing their minds. They're losing their country. And, and, and they looking at you as you're a part of it. You damn Democratic voters. They looking at you as you, you, you put Joe Biden in, in office. And you already know they the ones that probably done this. They hate that particular side of politics. They don't like you damn Democrats. <laughs> and most Jake, most so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that's what they vote. They vote Democrat. They don't know why. Because they don't be doing nothing for them. But anyway, another story. Verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, he probably came all up to the table cheesing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can I get anything else for you? You want me to fill your drink? Get the fuck out of here, man. Come up humbling themselves. Though he humble himself and go crouching. Yet take good heed and beware of him. That's my old dude's lock. I was trying to put him on game at the gas. I've I, I seen a couple cheap gas stations. You know, I to, hey, take your people, man, when you see cheap gas, man. You see, or you see cheaper gas, because it's not cheap. But if you see some gas that's a little bit on the cheaper side, let your family know, man. That's what these lessons are about, too, man. Hey, it, the scriptures talks about us loving each other, man. We have to love each other because you see this type of hatred. These motherfuckers hate our guts, man. You know what kind of hatred you got to have, man, to how you get yourself up at work. What did he call, like, Becky in and be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I'm going to need you to, you know, perform a little bit of, you know, a little, little toppy top for me real quick. Let me get this up real quick. And when I, you know, 
jizz them off. I need this. Like, oh, what are you keeping it in cups or some shit? Are you preserving it at the job just in case? So, because they don't tell them how many more um, um, times they done done that, man. That's why I say be careful when you go to these restaurants, man. Straight up, man. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means he's going to eventually show those colors. And I'm willing to bet you that that, that same person to tell you, oh, I'm not racist. I got black friends. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is disgusting. And there's plenty of stories like this. And you know when you normally see these stories, it's them. It's them. Here you go. You can't see nothing. You don't know what they're putting in. You can't see behind the counter. No, man. No, it's not the time for that, man. <laughs> Straight up. Verse 13, it says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? Ain't nobody going to pity you, man, when, when you constantly hearing about these racist, these racist ass incidents at, at places like Denny's. Um, you know, it's just in general. You, you, it's story after story after story of you hearing about, and it, and a lot of the times it be from women that could actually should be at home. Just cook something, man. Just cook something. You gotta go out to eat. Just cook something. You can go to the supermarket, fill out fresh, look at for, you know, get what you want to get, make it the way that you want to make it, put the seasonings in it that you want to put in it, because there's no actual way now. I don't even understand, like, I guess if you spoon through a salad, you'll see something like that. It's not like, you know, <laughs> you don't know what, you know, semen look like if you've ever had sex before, you know, and I don't mean to sound graphic, but golly, man, just imagine if it was in something else that he couldn't have detected it. You see what I'm saying? And here you go. All he wants is a million. That's, that's crazy as hell right there in itself to me. He should be wanting to, he should want the restaurant, the chain. God damn it, I'm gonna need a couple of these. Real for real. You should at least be trying to open up a, 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 your own damn burger joint where, you know, and, 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 and serve people well with that. Hey, this is not gonna happen here. <laughs> Something, man. But anyway, I want to keep the lesson too long. I just wanted to just kind of do a, man, a little, little, little warning, man. I've done videos like this before, but watch it when you going out to eat and this so-called white people that's there that's serving you, man. Straight up. I'm just being straight the fuck up. I, hey, the scripture says don't trust them. And who will pity a charmer? So if you go after hearing, then hey, it is what it is, man. Straight up. Because Jake really believed that they're Americans. Oh, I'm a, I can go shit. I got rights. I can go do what I want to go. You ain't going to tell me nothing. All right. Because with that attitude, you're going up against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sai because he's the one that placed us in this slavery. This is our punishment. You're not here to lollygag. This is not goddamn Disney World, man. We're trying our best to, to do the best that we can and pray that he will not take away his Holy Spirit from us or blow out our candlestick and that we'll make the kingdom, man. And that we can rule over our enemies, man. Straight up. Don't you want to be in a... <laughs> My man, he was doing a video and... and, and I, first time I ever heard of it, it's called, he said it was called the laugh bucket. Well, these damn Edomites, you know, back in the days, if they caught you snickering, laughing, showing your teeth, or even having somewhat of a good time, they was fucking you up. That's the type of perpetual hatred these people have had for us as a, as a nation of people, man, in this country, man. And to this very day, they don't like seeing you smiling. They don't like seeing you, ha what, you so, what you so happy about. And then they have mixed emotions about it because if you're serious and you're you're not one of those ones that's always cackling, you're not always <laughs> you're not one of those. They don't know what to think because they don't know they don't know what your thoughts are when you're not like that. You you just being serious straight up. You just handling business. Or oh, they don't like them kind either. So it's like you can't win. <laughs> you can't win in this man's kingdom, man. This is retarded as hell. You can go to a restaurant. You go out with your family and you thinking that you're about to have a good meal. You done ordered up a salad. But I mean, man, come on, man. <sighs> Y'all done made all these fast food, GMO ass, 
fucked up, not being, it, it ain't even food. You done made these people filthy wealthy. Stop, stop pulling up, man. Just go and just shop, man. But it, all that's coming to an end, though. All that bread and circus, all that mirth, all that, because the Lord is about to do a number on his place. Ain't going to be no damn pulling up at Red Robins, um, whatever the damn song is. I've never had Red Robins before. I know it's one up the street from me, but I don't fuck around. <laughs> I ain't dealing with no, I'm not going out to no restaurants. I'm, I'm straight on that. I'm straight, straight up, man. So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.